So won't you join us as together we keep on growing. Hope everyone had a happy new year. Um, I was going to do one of those 2018 uh, rewind, redo, uh, recap, you know, whatever you want to call it. And I was going back through my old footage last night and comments and trying to pick out highlights and nothing really stood out for me. I know it sounds kind of weird, but um, every day, every morning I get up and I check my notifications and I see our community growing. And I see you guys sharing, just like we've been talking about. Uh, and not just this video. Uh, I don't know all the answers. And sometimes there's questions from around the world and people ask, what can you use as an alternative to something? And, and I don't know. And I see a lot of you guys chiming in and helping each other out and saying you could use this or try this or maybe this would help. And that's a fantastic thing. And that's, that's what I envision for this community is to be a bunch of people, you know, sharing information, helping each other out, spreading positivity. And I'm just excited about the entire year. And it's kind of like 2018 was like one big highlight. And so instead of dwelling on the past and, and going over all of that, um, we'll talk about the future and what's in store because we're growing and growing, keep on growing, right? So uh, one thing we're gonna do is our non-circulating hydroponics off-grid. Um, we're gonna keep testing and experimenting with different things. Uh, this works for me, the downspouts, the pool noodles, really cheap and expensive, uh, but it does mean it's the end-all beat-all. And just because we find something that works doesn't mean that we get complacent and stop experimenting and stop learning you know who knows we might find something that works even better so we're still going to grow like this because like i said this works for me but i'm going to experiment with a lot of other stuff just like that marble container that we grew uh the water spinach in that did better than i expected and the water spinach is still growing in it you know it's it's cut back and, and it's struggling through the cooler weather and we're trying to overwinter it but it's still alive and it's still in there. And that just fascinates me. That's something that I haven't seen anyone do. And we did that together. Hypertufa, we talked about that, never got into it. glass containers. There's all kinds of things we can experiment with. So it's gonna be a fun year. Um, something else, the NFT system. We'll go take a look in the yard. Uh, my NFT setup, I get a lot of questions about it. And it's basically the same thing as this, except you have water running through the bottom with a small fountain pump and it does rely on a little bit of electricity if you don't mind that and you can be home to tend to this this works really well so i'm going to show you how i built mine the different sizes and shapes you can build at different configurations if you look back a couple of years you'll notice that mine was vertical instead of horizontal it's whatever works for you it's real versatile so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to build one of those uh, and what goes into it and what goes into carrying and maintaining it and growing plants. We'll go through the whole shebang. And the other thing, we'll go out in the yard in a minute here. And I, I've showed you different areas of the yard, like where the NFT was set up and the table where all the water spinach was growing, uh, the wall of pak choy and things like that. But I've never really showed you the whole yard. You know, this is my new place here. So over the year, I never showed you a wide angle. I'm gonna go out there and try and step back as far as I can and try to get it all in one shot and show you just how small the space actually is. Um, and in that spot, all the food you've seen us grow all year, you're gonna see that I didn't maximize the entire space, that I could have grown two or three or four times as much food as I did. And the reason for that is, number one is I don't like to put a lot of time and energy into something and throw it in a compost pile. It's where you grow what we consume. And I haven't gotten to know a whole lot of people around here yet and I, uh, that I could share produce with. And as time goes on and, and people show an interest and want some, then I'll grow more. Um, but the other, th the other point, number two, 
was I was experimenting with the new yard. There's a lot of shade trees. Uh, the house is on one side, and it's not a big yard, so I figured out what areas got uh, one amount of sunlight throughout the day, um, which ones would be protect, uh, protected from the elements like the wind and, and the sun and, and uh, different things like that. So um, I grew all year and I've documented it so I can go back through my old footage and see what plants grow well in what area at what time. So that's gonna be exciting, but I want you guys to see the entire area and uh, see we're gonna kind of redo it because it's January 1st and it's gonna be 80 degrees here in Florida. Now the plants are loving it, 75 to 80 degrees. Uh, couldn't ask for better weather. But the Weather Channel, you know, who's never wrong, told us that it's gonna be a colder than normal winter down here in the south. So I expect the cold weather is coming, it's just a little bit later. Uh, we might let a lot of this go, make our new containers, get ready for the spring. We'll still be harvesting and eating what's already growing out there. And we're gonna start over with a lot of stuff and start from scratch, grow some microgreens, plant them out. And then I'm gonna show you guys when those grow to baby greens and we'll have more microgreens when we start planting those and then we'll harvest, put some more in and keep it going. And you guys are gonna see the system that you don't have just a spring crop and you don't have just a fall crop. That with this system, you can have leafy greens all year long. And that's just awesome. And that's why I love it so much. So lots of exciting things. I don't wanna keep you guys too long today. If you have any questions, contact me. If you have any uh, things that you'd like to see us experiment with and to try out when we're, we're trying all these new things in the garden this year, um, go ahead and let me know and, and like comment or, or DM me or, or uh, I put my email up here. I'm trying to keep up on the email. You guys are keeping me busy with questions and that in there, so I'm trying to keep up with that. But, um, you know, if you'd like to see something in particular, go ahead and email me and I'll get back to you or we'll go ahead and give it a try. And keep sending your pictures. I love seeing all the stuff that everyone's doing. And if you don't mind me showing other people, leave me a little note that you don't mind me and I'll put it up here in the show. Um, but till then, uh, excited about 2019. You guys, as always, lift inspire. Keep on growing and be the change. Mr. Doozy out.